Okay, I can't believe it. I've just kind of. This video is about SEO and um, <coughs> SEO specifically for WordPress. Um, like myself, a bit like WordPress. And um, you know, you've got. What I'm going to tell you about is my experience of using SEO and, and the recent results that I've shown and the things that I've figured out <coughs> within under the C panel and of your WordPress blog and also some of my considerations for why you should possibly move over to other things because now there's more access to search engine optimization through other methods and I'm going to try and do that in five minutes so my name is Robert Bridge and you'll find me on websites robertbridgeco.uk, robertbridgemobi, robertbridgeinfo uh, Robert Bridge mobile phones um, and other things as well and all of them uh, got trash robot recycling all the rubbish now here's the thing with plugins you've got um, everybody everybody's talking about these plugins as if they're like one separate thing even though they do look like they're doing similar things within your posts or within your rankings or within your readings there's three different pillars that I want you to consider um, in order to read and understand and, and understand what exactly is working and what isn't working from like two years ago to, 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 to today and how you can go over and re-implement and analyze and also ensure that the things are doing what they say they do <coughs> So I think my first kind of experience with SEO really is from Jeff Johnson and um, and the stuff that he the the free plugin he was the first person really to provide a free plugin of my awareness which was called the um, All in One SEO which now has been kind of cloned by different people and that was basically just to um, add meta words which as we know now are not 100% relevant within SEO um, but what is relevant is getting ranked for them so here's why it's a three-step process and I'll try and make it clear not just to you but to myself because I have recently searched you can do a you can do a search on any of your blog posts and can compare them to find out the meta words the categories the link index the amount of times that you use the word within the post or within your whole of your site and then you can look at the ratings that you have within the Google and and, and, and in my experience they were all zero so um, and I'll come on to that in a bit which is the third part of SEO which you might want to consider although there are ways of doing it manually yourself is 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 paying for a plugin which costs money and someone spoke about it there but don't forget to use the the other plugins as well. So, the most common one now that everybody seems to be um, replacing for the all-in-one plugin is SEO Ultimate, and it's got everything there from from uh, indexing your site with Quantcast and um, taking you directly to the URLs that you need to log in with Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Um, and five other analytics so you've got Google Analytics all these things add to your search engines mm, weight in the search bar now the third one that I'm gonna jump straight into because there's only 50 seconds left is is this actually having what you want to be indexed for not just in the meta of your template design and wordplay WordPress which you can do yourself a lot easier sometimes in HTML um, meta sites, static websites, is actually having that in place because I don't know what's going on with the updates of WordPress or what's happening with the hybridization of the plugins but when you check your website through searches and you see the zero ranking for meta words or keywords, now I don't know if that's to do with the Google slap I don't want to complicate things because everything is rezonable okay so that's the three-step SEO process 